Psalms 139, 23 and 24. Well, how will we be get, how will we get cleansed, Jesus? How you gonna cleanse us? What you gonna use? We know and believe that you have the answer. Hallelujah. The answer is found. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 15. And see how God is going to cleanse us. Matthew chapter 15, beginning at verse 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit is taken away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. This is the cleansing. Cleansing is right there, verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. <laughs> Brother Phil. Brother oh. Phil. Excuse me, Brother Phil. Brother Phil. Uh -oh. Brother Phil. Brother Phil. It's, it's, John, it's John chapter yes, 14. Yes, sir, I did. Now are you clean through the word which I have spoken unto you? That's it. That's how we get the mind of Christ. It's through the word of God. Amen. It's what God has said and left a record for us. Amen. Give us his mind. Give us his thoughts and his desires. Letting us know, teaching and instructing us in the way that we should go. Guiding us with his eye. John. Amen. Through his word. Has told us that is everlasting. He has told us that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He has told us that he is the living bread. He has told us, amen, that come drink of the living fountain. A while within he's bringing up into everlasting life. He told us that we can trust him, that he's faithful, that he's aware of, and he's been touched with the feelings of our infirmity. That he knows our struggle. He knows our thoughts. He knows our trials and our weaknesses. But yet still, because we have a, 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 a contrite heart, because we know that we're in need, we can come to him, fall down, prostrate before him, confess to him all that we know about ourselves, why we are who we are. At the time that we're there on our knees. How did you get there? Explain to him. Let him know. That you're aware of certain things. There may be some things in your past you don't even remember. There may be some things you know, that you blocked out. Amen. That you don't care to remember. But you'll be as truthful as possible. That you know that you have cleansed your heart of all that you have confessed. All your spirit goes to him. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah. And tell him that you and me, you can't do it by yourself. And come on, somebody. Yeah. Matter of fact, you, you are useless. And he has to bring about that anointing. He has to bring about that cleansing in your heart. And it's through his word. Yeah. So we have to study. And to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We 
knowing that God's word is true, knowing that God, amen, has provided a way for you to enter into the mind of Christ, for you to enter into what is with him and is in his word. I'll talk to God. And though you must apply yourself to it, the more you learn about him, the more you love him, the more you understand him, and the more righteous he becomes.
First John, uh, uh, chapter, chapter three. First John, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Happy in Jesus. What about you, say? Amen. 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 First John, chapter three, verse one. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. That we should be called the sons, the sons and daughters of God. Therefore the world knows us not. Why? Because we knew him not. But us, this guy is speaking to us now. You know the, 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 the disciple that Jesus said, Amen. Amen. Now, Jesus, that John talking to us, but blood? Now are we the sons of God? And it does not yet appear what we shall be? But we do know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, and we shall see him as he is there. That has this hope. That will be like him and see him as he is. Everybody has this hope. In him purifieth himself by the washing of the water of the word in our hearts, applying ourselves to it, praying and submitting ourselves and surrendering to it. Then we will be as he is pure. <laughs> So we can do it. Behold, the Lord Himself shall minister unto you an entrance into an everlasting kingdom. It's His word, family. Let's get it in our heart. Let's obey it. Let's breathe it. Let's live it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to speak to the family, Lord. Every soul, God, that you shed your blood to cover them, to cover their sins. You came to save them out of their sins, not to save them and allow them to continue to sin. But that they were turning back. And what fear of God is, the fear of God is the reverential reverence of God and respecting and honoring him and his word and hating evil, not people that, the people, but the evil that exists. We love the enemies, love the lost, love the downtrodden, love our wayward children, love the proud, love. We're the love, we're just the love people. But when we see what condition that they're in according to the fruit that they bear, then we're to pray for them in their heart and ask God to be merciful unto them. But all at the same time, we're loving them because we really want God to do that. Even though we may be offended by what they're saying or doing right then in our faces while we're praying and prayer. So, Lord, we ask God that you would do for us what you said you would do, that you would cleanse us and you make us a new creature. Amen. According to our hearts has to be changed into the likeness of Christ. So teach us in the way of righteousness, truth, and love. And thank you for all that you're doing, providing for us, watching over us, and answering our prayers, and mindful of even the little things that either you lose you, 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 you can't find this, or whatever that he asked you, Lord, and like it is, and you ask. Oh Lord, you got to see like we can't like Jesus when he said at the 
tomb of Lazarus. Father, I know that you're always here. And so God, you said that before we call you man. So we just want to thank you for hearing us. Help us to desire the right things that are pleasing in your sight. Grant us that which you said that we, you know that we stand in need of. Help us in our weaknesses. Mold us into the image of Christ. And may we have love one for another. And all will know that we're your disciples and your children. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I better back over to your pastor. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the message. That we heard today, you don't know how blessed your ears are to hear the word with such power and such clarity and such an anointing that can grow you into the image of the one that promised all that he would do. My Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you for teaching us how to cleanse our hearts in our minds so that all these things going on around us will be exactly as you said and will not trouble us because we know the end from the beginning because the one that did it and said it is with us praise God I tell you brother Phil I, I can't thank God enough for this word that's coming forth and the blessings that it has I don't know about you, but it, it, it sure changed me. <laughs> I praise God for that. It's changed me. Every word that was said out of his mouth got power. And when you hold on to it and grasp it, it's going to do what he said it's going to do. Now that's something you have your decision. If you're going to keep that, keep that, what he's done and said, or when you walk out that door, you're going to let the enemy and all this foolishness that's going on around you, all the lies that he tell, take it from you. Either you're going to believe what God said and hold on to it. That's why he said, keep my commandments. Hold on to them. Don't let nobody and nothing take it away. Jesus said, what I have given unto you, let no man take from you, or spirit, or power, or anything else. Oh, I wanted to ask you, Brother Phil, did you have a did you have a title for that? So I can when I put it on the video, I can put a title because I gotta do that. Phil, you got a title for, for the message? Brother Philip, do you hear me? Amen. Do you have a title for the message? Yes, yes. What, what is the title? Oh, the title was, amen. You shall be. Yes. Go ahead, say that again. You shall be. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, you shall be clean. Amen. By the word. Amen. All right. Yes, yes, yes. You know we can't, we can't clean, get clean, look, can't get too clean. Je Jesus is the one that comes doing the cleaning, because we got a way of getting, getting dirty again. He said he come as refined as fire and full of soap. So when he come, he come with some power yes. to clean us up. I just thank God for this day. I, I tell you, I thank God for the word that came forth with so much power and anointing. Kind of remind me of. And the messages we got from Tyrone and, 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 and Pastor. Boy, I mean, you know, they, they life changing messages. They're the kind of message when you go home and lay down at night, you start hearing that word preaching to you again. You know, it just fills you so up, so much up and everything. And I, I can't thank God enough. But you know, He always gets greater and greater in everything He does. So let's just keep trusting His greatness and let Him work everything out. And, and hold on to what you got. Amen. 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 And we're going to go ahead on and, and go offline. And I, again, I can't thank God enough. It was a powerful message, Brother Phil. And we, we just thank God for it, man. We really do. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Love everybody on this line. We're praying for your families. We're trusting in God. He's going to work everything out for each and every one of us. And uh, we're going to go offline now, and if anybody...
in, in the body of Christ, in the church, feel led, has a need of prayer, we'll pray for you. And if you need, if you want, feel led to take communion, we'll have communion. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He said, remember me. Let's keep him in our thoughts. He also said to examine yourself. Take a look at yourself. Amen. Let God examine you. And that message today, he said, he told us and everything. Search me, O Lord. See if there be any unclean thing in me so that you can come into my life and cleanse me and make me the way you want me to be. Because you know what? The truth is our hearts are desperately wicked. And who can know them? But we got somebody we can call on and we can ask that will come into our lives and do what no one else can do. Wash us. Cleanse us. Make us like him. Amen. So that he will come as refined as fire and full of soap to clean us up. So this is my body that was broken for you. For your healing, for your deliverances, for your blessings. All the things I suffered so that you might have that relationship with me. Take and eat the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And this is the blood that was shed for the remission of our sins. Our blessed Father drink of the blood of Jesus. When we ask for forgiveness, when we, we repent and ask God to give us the strength to keep his commandments and not to break any of his laws and to live according to his will, he forgives us for everything that we've done in the past and he throws it in his sea of forgetfulness. Never, choosing never to remember it again. Let's ask the Lord to make us like him so we can truly forgive those that are around us and have done things to us that we feel that weren't right because each and every one of us has done things to God that were not right and he has forgiven us. Amen. Always, always fear that scripture that said if you don't forgive your brother God won't forgive you. See, I don't care about how the, what I got to go through. There ain't never been a whole big thing to me. But I did feel one thing. If God don't forgive you, you're going to hell. And you're going to be there forever. I ain't put up with whatever these people, foolish these people are. But I can't. I'm going to go down there. Because that's eternity. And not only that, but because you don't have a forgiving heart, your heart can't be clean. You're unforgiving. You're holding a grudge. I'm glad Jesus don't hold no grudge against me. And Satan usually, man, there's some things that are hard for people to forgive. But if somebody ain't do nothing to you, what you got a grudge against them for? Satan himself deceiving people. Don't get caught up in his lie. Get caught up in God's spirit and have that truly loving heart that only He can give. Amen. 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 Thank God for Jesus.